Hello friends. Today we will discuss about topological space. The basic definition is a topology on a set X is a collection tau of subsets of X having the following properties. First one is empty set and whole set belongs to tau. Second one, if two sets U and V belongs to tau, then its intersection must belongs to tau. U intersection V belongs to tau. And finally, uh, set U alpha, alpha belongs to lambda, where lambda equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. belongs to tau, implies union U alpha belongs to tau. That is arbitrary union of elements of tau also belongs to tau. Then we say that X tau is a topological space. And elements of tau are called open sets. Move on to some problems. First one, find all possible topologies on x equal to set A, B. So we have to consider the three conditions. So first set is tau 1 equal to set empty set and whole set. And this is the so-called trivial topology or indiscrete topology. Uh, tau 2 equal to set empty set whole set and set A. Tau 3 is empty set whole set and set B and tau 4 is empty set whole set set A and set B that is a set of all power sets of X and is called the discrete topology on X. Second question is let tau equal to set of all U belongs to power set of R for e, such that for each x in u, there exists delta x such that x minus delta x, x plus delta x subset of u, that is an open interval subset of u, then show that tau is a topology on R induced by usual metric. So, we will consider the three conditions and clearly empty z belongs to tau because empty z, uh, we can say that empty z satisfies this condition, so empty z belongs to tau. Now consider the whole line R, R equal to minus infinity, infinity. Then we can say that for any X belongs to R, there exists delta X such that X minus delta X, X plus delta X subset of R. That is, if we take the real line, minus infinity, plus infinity, and we, if we take any element from R, we can find an open interval subset of R. Therefore, R belongs to tau. Uh, that is, second con uh, first condition is satisfied. So, move on to second condition. Let U1, U2 belongs to tau. We have to prove that its intersection also belongs to tau. So, we take an element from intersection. That is, X belongs to U1 intersection U2. That is, X belongs to U1 and X belongs to U2. X belongs to U1 and U1 belongs to tau implies there exists delta X1 such that X minus delta X1, X plus delta X1 subset of U1. That is, uh, we take the real line and uh, this is U1. And... Uh, Take this as U2. And the intersection part is this. So we take an element X from U1 intersection U2. That is X belongs to U1 and U1 belongs to tau implies. There is an open, there exists delta X1 such that X minus delta X1 X x plus delta x1 subset of u1 so that is we will get an interval x minus delta x1 x plus delta x1 which is a subset of u1 and similarly x belongs to u2 and u2 belongs to tau implies there exists a delta x2 such that x minus delta x2 x plus delta x2 subset of u2 that is uh, we take this this interval is subset of u2. So we'll take delta x equal to minimum of delta x1 and delta x2. We take minimum of delta x1 and delta x2. Then we can say that x minus delta x, x plus delta x subset of x minus delta x1, x plus delta x1, which is a subset of u1. And x minus delta x, x plus delta x, subset of x minus delta x2, x plus delta x2, which is a subset of u2. 
that is x minus delta x x plus delta x subset of u1 and u2 means which is a subset of u1 intersection u2 that is we get an open interval subset of u1 intersection u2 therefore u1 intersection u2 belongs to tau so finally we take an arbitrary collection of elements on tau that is u alpha alpha belongs to lambda belongs to tau we have to prove that its union also belongs to tau so we take u as union alpha belongs to lambda u alpha so we have to prove that u belongs to tau So we take an element from u. Let x belongs to u. X belongs to u means x belongs to union u alpha. X belongs to union means x belongs to any any of some uh, any of the set that is x belongs to u alpha for some alpha. Now x belongs to u alpha and u alpha is an element of tau. Implies that there exists delta x such that x minus delta x x plus delta x subset of u alpha. There is an open interval which is a subset of u alpha. Now x minus delta x x plus delta x open interval x minus delta x x plus delta x subset of u alpha and we know that u alpha any set is a subset of its union therefore u alpha subset of union u alpha union u alpha is nothing but u that is this open interval is a subset of u that is u belongs to tau. This all the three conditions are satisfied. Hence, tau is a topology on R and is called Euclidean topology or usual topology. Move on to third example, third problem. Let tau equal to set of all u belongs to P of R2 such that for each a comma b belongs to u, any ordered pair a b belongs to u, there exists delta such that set set of all x y belongs to R2 such that x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square less than delta square is a subset of u. That is, tau contain all the elements such that x minus a whole square plus y minus b less than or equal to delta square which is a subset of u. Then we have to show that tau is a topology on R2. So we know that empty set satisfies this condition clearly. Uh, therefore, empty set belongs to tau and consider the whole set r2 we take whole set r2 whole space and we take any element a b we can find an open board open circle x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square less than delta square form which is a subset of r2 therefore uh, therefore we can say that r belong r2 belongs to so first condition satisfied now move on to second condition we take two element from tau that is let u1 u2 belongs to tau now we have to prove that its intersection also belongs to tau so uh, we take an element from u1 intersection u2 let this will be u1 and This is U2. And this is the intersection portion. So we take an element. We take an element AB from U1 intersection U2. That is AB belongs to U1 and AB belongs to U2. AB belongs to U1 and U1 belongs to tau implies there exists delta 1 such that x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square less than delta 1 square is a subset of U1. We can say that there is a there is x y such that x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square less than delta 1 with radius delta 1 is a subset of U1. In the same manner, we can say that AB belongs to U2 and U2 is an element tau implies that there is there exists a delta 2 such that x minus delta x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square less than delta 2 square is a subset of U2. So the figure may be like this. So we choose delta equal to minimum of delta 1, delta 2. 
then we can say that x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square less than delta square subset of x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square less than delta 1 square which is a subset of u1 and x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square less than delta square subset of x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square less than delta 2 square which is a subset of u2 that is this set is subset of u1 and u2 therefore it is a subset of u1 intersection u2 that is u1 intersection u2 belongs to tau. Finally we take an arbitrary collection of elements from tau that u alpha alpha belongs to lambda belongs to tau and we choose u equal to union u alpha alpha belongs to lambda. So we have to prove that u belongs to tau. We take u equal to union u alpha, alpha belongs to lambda. And we have to prove that u belongs to tau. Let a comma b belongs to u. Then a comma b belongs to union u alpha, alpha belongs to lambda. We take element from u. u is nothing but union u alpha. Therefore, this element belongs to union u alpha. That is, this element ordered pair AB belongs to any of the set U alpha for some alpha and AB belongs to U alpha and U alpha belongs to tau implies there exists a delta greater than 0 such that X minus A whole square plus Y minus B whole square less than delta square is a subset of U alpha. U alpha is a subset of union U alpha. Union U alpha is nothing but U. Therefore, we can say that x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square less than delta square is a subset of u. Therefore, u belongs to tau. Hence, all the three conditions are satisfied. Therefore, tau is a topology on R2 called Euclidean topology or usual topology.